these days it's not your your pen anymore uh -huh. uh, it's your IT your your connectiveness and and all that how if that, and that's why uh, things like e-justice and so on uh, become very important that's why once again I come back to training uh, judicial education and even also the training of the staff you can be a highly judicially trained and educated judge if you, but if your support staff lack you know in one scale or the other that can be a, a, a problem so so uh, competence competence is also part of that yes and and, uh, and then and, and, and it's it's when you're looking at all those things coming together that's when public perception is also important because if if you if you've delivered in an independent and impartial way with integrity if you've applied all your knowledge to what you you're doing you've you've you've, you've uh, applied all the modern technology and all that to arrive at your decision and it comes to let's say execution of the judgment and nothing happens the person won but they might as well have lost because now it's a big hassle to go to get your land back or your house back or or get the person to pay your money back to you then you're blaming the judge. Oh, that judge gave me a useless judgment. No, the judge gave you a good judgment. It is the execution that failed you. Yes. And execution of judgments are both... Uh, part of it, you know, there's the bailiff service, and which also needs, I have to admit, still needs a lot of work to be done, a lot of uh, inputs to be put in there to make them efficient. And then, uh, part of the execution, you need the, the, um, the police service to help you do the execution because it's really an executive act to execute a judgment. And for me, um, perception and its result on effectiveness is important primarily because when your outcomes in other words as i said the judge wrote a perfect judgment and gave you a good judge a good decision it's not being appealed against and all that but you're not getting the fruit of your of your victory because of execution uh, being you know the person is successfully maneuvering you all over the place see those are the things that lead to um self-help yeah. uh, uh -huh. sorting to the use of either land guards to get a land back yes other yes forms. you talked about the timing or how long it takes for instance for cases to travel all the way to the end before the judgment is even given how important is timely justice? Take into consideration the saying that, yes, if justice delayed is justice denied, but when justice is hurried as well... Justice is buried. I'm glad you know that second part. <laughs> How do you balance it between the two? Um, you balance it through uh, um, effective, effective case management. All these are systems and methodologies which are now in place to help right from the uh, the lower lower court all the way even the rules of procedure rules of uh, court procedure are part of case management if you if you sue somebody this is how you do it and when you have filed it uh, uh, after this period, this, by, within this period, this is what's supposed to happen. After this period, this is what's ho supposed to happen. Those are all the, 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 the laid down procedural um, processes. Many times the procedure is there, but um, 
it's not being followed. Maybe the person started the case, uh, the, the, the pers the, the, uh, and yet the rate has not been served yet. So you're waiting and waiting and waiting. Every time you go to the court, oh, we haven't been able to serve the rate. There are processes whereby if you've tried a certain number of times to serve and it has not been, the service has not taken place, the plaintiff can trigger a certain process for a substituted service. That is there. But if you don't trigger it, then uh, I don't know what's happened to your rate, mm -hmm. but your rate has not been served and you're just sitting there and you're lamenting, eh, these court people, they are all thieves. And the magistrate, the thing has not even reached the magistrate yet. And the magistrate is already being insulted. Yes. And so on and so forth. So if, if people uh, would take an interest in, in the process, what ought to be? If people knew what ought to be, then they could really be very critical about what is being done. Because I, I was always sometimes very concerned about how long it will take, let's say, uh, uh, to, it will take a litigant to take the next step, which they could have taken months ago because there has been the time lapse. The, the statutory time lapse whereby you can apply for default judgment, you can apply for the case to be thrown out, you can apply for this, you can apply for that, and you're just sitting there and nothing is happening. That is not the process's uh, the, um, fault. It's you, you, you're not a vigilant, equity aids the vigilant, not the indolent, yes. But all things being equal, it is possible for a judge, once the case has landed in that judge's court, to so manage the process that the judge will even be able to tell when hearing will end and when uh, judgment can be delivered. There are some judges at the at the High Court, for example, who, uh, you know, they've perfected their case management um, systems. Because once it's your, your, your case, the case is before you, you're the one who, you time it. And the, the, the lawyers who want to play their tricks, they know the judges to avoid. Uh -huh. Because they know this judge, this adjournment, will not, they will not grant it. They will not countenance unnecessary delays. And, and one judge in particular, she would write out a timetable for the case. And when, and then serve, have it served on all the parties. And they've agreed on this date, on that date. You will take your witnesses, you will do this. And these days there's a witness statement. So every person producing a witness comes up, brings the witness statement, which is sworn. It's like an affidavit. So it's only the cross-examination that's done in court. Yes. Okay, no, so I think we just, yeah, we still have.